we have 3 raised to the 4x minus 5 equals 17. The reason the 1 to 1 property will not work here is because there's no way we're going to write 17 as a base of 3 and no way we're going to write 3 as a base of 17. So whenever you're not able to rewrite 1 in a base of another or a common base, you got to use logs. Now one way of doing this is by the definition of a log and that says a to the x equals y if and only if, that's shorthand, log base a of y equals x. So according to the definition of the log, our a here is 3, our x represents 4x minus 5, and our y is 17. So by rewriting it like this, we'll have log base 3 Notice the base of the exponent is the base of the log. So that's the giveaway right there. Of the argument is 17, that's our y value, equals 4x minus 5. So the reason this is beneficial is now note we don't have an x in the exponent anymore. Log base 3 of 17 is just an ugly number, it's going to be okay. So what we have to do is just concentrate on this side. Notice to solve for the x, we'd have to add the 5 and then divide by the 4. So let's add the 5. You cannot combine the 17 and the 5. Just leave that alone. If you want to, you can put parentheses around the log base 3 of 17. To finish it off, we'll divide by 4. So that gives us log base 3 of 17 plus 5 all over 4. Fantastic! Now another way to solve this type of equation is by taking the log of both sides. It doesn't matter what type of log you take technically. Um, you can take a regular old base 10 log, which is L-O-G, or you can take a natural log, which is L-N. Um, they're both going to give you the same answer. We'll just take the regular old log log. Taking a log of both sides is similar to squaring both sides of an equation, taking the square root of both sides of an equation. It has to be done to both sides and just make sure it's the same base of the log and you should be okay. Now the reason this is beneficial is notice on the left hand here we have our argument raised to a power. According to the power rule of logs, we can bring that power, that exponent, down in front. Notice the use of parentheses there. Log of 3 and log of 17 are just numbers. They're not pretty. It does not matter. We're going to solve this algebraically. I'm going to first divide both sides by the log of 3. So we'll have log of 17 divided by the log of 3. This is not the difference rule for logs. It's not the same thing. To finish this off, we'll add 5. And we'll divide by 4. There's a whole bunch of ways to write that. This one's fine. You could have put a four down here and had five fourths here. Now note that these two are exactly the same answer. And if you learned about your change of base rule, log base three of 17 is the same thing as log of 17 or the log of three. So these are the same. Um, so because of that, if you're unsure if your answer is the same as what it is in the back of the book, you can throw those into your calculator if you get the same decimal approximation. You're good to go.